that sometimes I'm referring to him in meetings or referring to uh, him on the field. And in my mind, it feels like he's been here longer, yeah, you know, yeah. two or three years. And that's, I keep got to <laughs> remind myself, oh, wait, he's only, he's only been here for one year, you know, and, and redshirted. So uh, he feels like he's a, a veteran, and that's due to how he handles himself. And he's very well-liked, you know, among the team. And uh, he's got a great demeanor about him. You know, he's kind of even keel and kind of calm. And obviously, he's got a lot of you know, talent and athleticism. And, which is a little bit more dynamic than what, you know, what Brett has, but um, I'm excited for him. Yeah. You know, I think Jalen's got a lot of that too, and I think both of those guys are pushing each other to become better. Um, and what I like most as a quarterback coach is that that room of quarterbacks. There's no egos. There's no um, everybody's trying to help everybody out. I mean, those guys are grabbing the freshmen and they're they're going through installs with them. And, yeah. And, um, so. At the end of the day, we're all just trying to win football games, and usually you don't. A lot of times, you don't see that in the in the quarterback room because there's only one guy's playing, and so there's a lot of animosity, um, which we which we just don't have because we got a lot of great guys in that room. Um, Talking about Chase Corden, that was yeah, yeah, okay. When I brought up the subject to Brad, he's kind of went the fourth downs. Yeah, last year. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys were really good third down team. Yeah. But soon that stick went to four, something well, happened. When you look back, why? You know, I mean, what was the thing that maybe you noticed or, or that you could try to do there, from that? There's always a few outliers. <laughs> you know, there's always a few outliers in there. But as far as the majority, um, yeah, it was just a situation where we just did not execute, you know, and, and on fourth down. And that just happened to be the, the trend, you know. And I don't know if it just kind of caught on and we couldn't get it. We couldn't shake it. Uh, but yeah, being last in the in the nation, fourth down percentage is tough to do. <laughs> so we we we, we yeah. presented that yeah. well, you yeah. know, with our guys, and um, we went through our game planning and how we prepare for a game and how you know that fourth down piece, how are we gonna get better at planning for that? And um, I think we've taken some great steps, and we can only go up from there. So <laughs> it, it, it was that something that you that you drilled more in the spring than usual? Or, we did. Yeah. We actually had more situations, you know, where we're putting pressure on those guys, you know, third down into a fourth yeah, down, right. and now we're, you know, we're putting that fourth down, and it's either push-ups or gas or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. And, you know, having some consequences <laughs> and make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and then uh, with uh, a lot of people talked about, you know, the wide receiver group and, you know, you lose a Cedric Wilson, but, you know, Harson kind of mentioned it was you know, tight end. You guys have – a good amount of guys, yeah. but n- not a ton of, I guess, experience necessarily or production and stuff like that. What, what have you seen? What have you seen from those guys? And you know wh- why they can maybe handle the challenge of you know trying to step up and replace. You guys were able to run a lot of multiple tight end sets because of those vets that you totally. had. So, so what, what have you seen from your tight ends? Yeah, we're excited about the tight end group. You know, and, and they may not have a ton of production in the past, but they do have good experience. You know, it's some older guys. Uh, we expect John Bass to, to step up and be a, an absolute absolute dude mm-hmm. you know and then you got the stony calling him moves to uh yeah. you know to tight yep. end yep. And, and then um you know with chase blakely you know some some older guys that have been through multiple practices and and we feel good about all those guys being in a multitude of positions you know with the multiple ways we use them um so, so yeah, we, we lose some some guys yeah. you know but we expect them to step in and, and be ready to go and um play well and then with the wide receiver crew um, the guys that have, that have been here the monster the AJ you know those type of guys who have had some production um, they've had a great off season we're excited about those guys and then but but then you know that that room is changing now too with some four new guys joining the mix um, you know really really six okay, yeah but four scholarship guys yeah. jumping in you know there and um, the excitement is just how are they going to progress through fall camp? What do they look like in those early practices? Do we feel like, oh, man, this guy's going to be able to help us out and, and keep pushing through fall camp? Uh, who can learn it quickly? You know, and that, in our offense, it's there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, there's adjustments. There's there's a, a ton of different route. Um, you know, things are signals. There's a lot of movement. You know, and so there's a lot of things that those young guys got to pick up. And so a big portion of them being able to allow us to put them on the field is can they handle it. Mm. Um, I think physically, you know, those those guys that have 
come in, our you know we're already watching them through through summer and you know, workouts and things like that. There, there's some physical guys in there, and so um, we've, been, we've added some speed you know to the mix. And I know Coach Kisaw is excited to. We're all excited to figure out what we have, yeah. you know, in that room. So it's gonna it's gonna change, and um, so if we can step up. You uh, you said you mentioned four. Is there? Is there so high tower, and then the three freshmen. Did you? We have we have three on campus right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is, is one of them still not yet? Mm. I'm not trying to prep you, not to shock you. <laughs> it's, it's basically, you know, when you look back at last season, you know, what, what, where you think the offense can take the biggest strides this year? Okay. okay. Is that? All right. Well, Zach, uh, you kind of look back at last season and look ahead to this one coming up. Where, where do you want to see the offense kind of make the biggest strides and make the improvements where you guys can get better? Yeah. We, uh, you know, it's Boise State, and we want to be able to run the football. And that's where we're going to uh, really spend a majority of the, the time in fall camp. And you know, we want to be a physical offense. Um, and have a bunch of tough guys out there. It doesn't matter what position. Um, obviously, we want to improve on our fourth down percentage. You know, that's something we looked at in the off season and, and need to get better at. Um, and then just all the different situational stuff. We want to be a great situational football team. So whether it's in clutch or four minute or low red or you know third downs or short yardage stuff. You know, we're focusing on a lot of those situational things. Um, you know, and putting our guys through those situations in fall camp to be able to, uh, you know, hopefully dial into wins, you know, next year. So. All right, Coach Hill. So um, you've got Cedric Wilson's gone. He's uh, he's in Dallas now. You've got uh, Rowan Danen's gone. It's a lot of production that's gone. How do you how do you anticipate replacing that? I think every single year you're going to have those guys that are that are moving on, whether it's to graduation or the NFL. And uh, obviously, we love those guys that are able to go into the NFL, you know, and continue playing. But every year you're going to have guys stepping up, you know, in each position. And they've had you know, spring and summer to be able to to gain those reps, gain that experience, and um, you know, whatever position it is. Guys are excited coming into fall camp because it's a new, fresh year, uh, and us as coaches are excited to see who has made the biggest jumps through, you know, through summer and um, you know from spring ball. And, uh, but we, we fully expect whatever position it is, whether it's the tight end position, you know, we feel good with those guys that are that have been here and that know the system. We're excited about the young guys that are coming in uh, with the wide receiver position. We said leaving, uh, you know, that that room there is uh, you know, with Monster, you know. And AJ and, and some guys that have uh, produced in the past, but then also some young guys that we don't know where they're at yet, but we're excited about them. So uh, that's all a part of fall camp too, you know, being able to give those guys opportunities to, to show what they've got and uh, who's going to help us win on uh, Thursdays, Fridays, or Saturdays. So a couple of things, uh, Monster kind of had a, a, like a rough start, but he, he took a little bit to get going, but he really was a lot more reliable down the stretch, and it kind of seems like he... Like a switch flip, you know. Um, yeah. How how is he kind of taking his game to the next? I level? think being an older guy yeah. for him and having been through you know multiple spring balls, multiple seasons, you know, and just the experience piece for him has given him confidence. Um, he had a good spring and. The, the nice thing about Sean is that we can put him at whatever position. We can move him inside, move him outside, and he knows the offense. Uh, so we know he's going to be in the right position to, to make plays. And, and I know uh, Rip can, can trust him, you know, with where, where he's at. Um, and he's just working on being a little bit more consistent football player. And, and we want to see that through fall camp and how consistent he's going to be catching the football and making plays for us. And, uh, but I know he's excited. Um, you've got some young guys coming in that have a lot of potential. you got a JC guy coming in. Um, can you maybe talk about some of that, some of the excitement around some of those guys? Yeah, John Hightower, you know, coming in as a JC guy. Uh, said ish you know, mm -hmm. with his body type and his ability to, Definitely some parallels. to make plays. And, uh, you know, a bigger guy that can go up and, uh, you know, jump out of the gym. And so that gives us... You know, hopefully he, he jumps into that role a little bit, you know, of, of having um, 
you know, Rip's trust and being able to go into a game and, and throw a ball up and let him go get it. Um, he has some speed too, you know, so it's exciting to, to see where he's going to end up, you know, being into game one. And then with the young guys, uh, the freshmen that have come in, they've, they've got good speed, you know, they've got good production in high school, and um, it's just how quickly they can learn the offense.